Good morning, folks. Awesome walk down memory lane today with earth spots and sunspots. We'll get a review on the ozone as well. And we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on the sun with minor pops as the southern coronal holes begin to take over that hemisphere. The solar wind enhancement from them is expected to begin as early as tonight. NOAA shows density impact and then faster streams starting in a couple of hours. Honestly, the impact window should stretch into tomorrow in terms of possibility. Minor geomagnetic storms are expected, but nothing scary. Folks, that comment on earthquakes in yesterday's news felt a little something a few hours later as twin shakes rocked southern Iran and another six-pointer struck due south of them offshore. Uptick is beginning, and no, folks, that's not all I had in mind. But right now, we're on to one of the coolest connections from our book and our past videos. Supercells on Earth revealed with GOES rapid scan to have a central anvil pulse, concentric waves emanating, like the heartbeat of a storm. Well, we see that on sunspots too. Different wavelengths show either the outflowing waves or, in some cases, the thumping heartbeat within the core umbra of the sunspot as well. This is one of four key phenomena that tell us how earthly storms might as well be called earth spots, like sunspots, and today, that pulse in the center of the sunspots is in fact being studied in greater detail. Now folks, to give you an idea of the speed of science, one of those authors is my buddy, and we were discussing them doing a study like this back in 2018 when our earth spot discussions were getting going here online, three years ago, but better late than never. Last but not least here, folks, they notice opposing trends in the ozone. There seems to be a continued recovery of the ozone dynamics from reducing certain pollutants, and this is shown in the delayed onset of the ozone hole each year. But they also keep noticing the record large holes and the deepening of that ozone hole as the season wears on. This is, of course, confounding, and they say they can't expect the larger ozone holes to disappear either even while the underlying recovery continues. Now, they don't peg it as this outright here, but this is precisely what is expected with Earth's magnetic pole shift and weakening magnetic protection. Solar particles chemically destroy the ozone layer, and those particles are taking advantage of the planet's weaker shield. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the solar wind today for that coronal hole impact. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.